Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about conversion of centimeter water to mmHg and vice versa that is conversion of mmHg to centimeter water. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Now, conversion of centimeter water to mmHg and vice versa. Why do we need this? When we take central venous pressure, it can be measured both by a pressure transducer and a water manometer. Most facilities today use pressure transducer system to measure central venous pressure, which gives the value in mmHg. And the water manometer was the first device developed for monitoring CVP, which gives the value in centimeter H2O. Similarly, the right atrial pressure can also be measured by a pressure transducer in mmHg and the water manometer in centimeter H2O. So, when a facility uses both these pressure transducers and water manometer, nurse should know how to convert these pressure values. And let's get into the topic. First comes conversion of centimeter H2O to mmHg. The formula to convert centimeter H2O to mmHg is Centimeter H2O divided by 1.36, which gives the value of mmHg. Let's begin with the first example. Aerotracheal tube cuff pressure equal to 29 centimeter H2O. Now, how do we convert this to mmHg? So, 29 divided by 1.36, which gives 21.3 mmHg. So, the ETT cuff pressure will be 29 centimeter H2O, that is 21 mmHg. Second example, central venous pressure is equal to 8 cm H2O. Now here, 8 divided by 1.36 which gives the answer 5.88. So the central venous pressure is equal to 8 cm H2O that is equal to 6 mmHg. Next comes conversion of mmHg to cm H2O. The formula to convert mmHg to centimeter H2O will be mmHg multiplied by 1.36 equal to centimeter H2O. Let's begin with the calculation. First example, endotracheal tube cuff pressure is equal to 20 mmHg. So 20 multiplied by 1.36 gives the answer 27.2. So the endotracheal tube cuff pressure will be 20 mmHg that is equal to 27 centimeter H2O. Next example, central venous pressure is equal to 8 mmHg. So 8 multiplied by 1.36 gives the answer 10.88. So the central venous pressure will be 8 mmHg that is equal to 11 centimeter H2O. So here you go with the conversion of centimeter H2O to mmHg and vice versa. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.